everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Good Stories. I'm Kagan Stanley, Product Marketing Manager for Quest, and I have with me Jake Davis. Um, Jake, why don't you introduce yourself and tell a little bit about what you do? Hi, well, my name is Jake Davis. I've been here for a couple of months now. I work uh, on the fourth floor upstairs at Quest. I am the new product marketing coordinator, and I'm super happy to be here. Thanks for having me. You bet, you bet. Why don't you start us off on our first story? Okay, will do. So this one comes out of the United Kingdom. Jason Anderson has been named the nicest plumber in England. He has been servicing disabled and elderly citizens of England, Great Britain, and Ireland for almost six years now. Um, thousands of dollars in costs and labor would normally be billed to these people, but they'd get it for free almost every single time. Just because of the funding that's come in, he uses Twitter to share the stories of most of these citizens, so it gets a lot of good publicity and funding come in. Um, they've actually started a GoFundMe that's already raised $75,000 so wow. that they can um, serve as citizens this winter. So. Awesome. It's a pretty good story in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. It's nice to see that people still do stuff like that right. and help help people that might not be able to afford basic necessities. Right. So, all right, well, I'll hop into my first good story. Um, there is a viral video that went out, and it was a woman that was unconscious in the middle of an intersection that was driving, and her car was going crazy, um, just rolling through this busy intersection, and crazy enough, her co-worker was in the same intersection and saw what was happening, huh. got out of her car, and tried to stop it. Um, everyone at first kind of thought, oh, this woman's super mad at whoever is in this car, right. but then realized when she started waving her arms um, that something was wrong. And then it ended up being eight people got out of their car to stop the one car that was going crazy. Everyone was able to get out of the way and get the car stopped. And then they were able to break into the car and help the woman that was having a medical emergency. Oh, nice. So it was a lot of right people at the right time that helped this woman, and there were no injuries reported. Um, and it was cool to see that something good went viral. Right. You know? um, and then every citizen that helped, there were eight of them, they received a Royal Caribbean cruise in $2,000. So their efforts oh, paid wow. off. Yeah. Great. So it, it's a really awesome story. And it's, that's like I said, that's... Stuff you want to see go by. Right. Interestingly enough, uh, my next good story is about a girl. Her classmate was in the same parking lot as her. She did accidentally step on the accelerator instead of the brake in a parking lot. Been mm -hmm. there before? <laughs> yes. Right? Yep. I know I have. Um, she was actually right next to the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean on this parking lot, and drove her car into the water. Oh, and no. got it submerged. Uh, it was a Subaru Outback. Um, just so happened that one of her classmates, not one of her coworkers, was right there. Yeah. Just took off his clothes and jumped in the water without even thinking of a second thought. Really? Um, he couldn't get the door open. I know that happens when cars are submerged. So he, in the moment, thought to jump onto the hood of the car to make it sink, and then oh. she could crawl out the back. Okay. Of the car. And they were saved. Yeah. Really? Another hero, but... That's awesome. Yeah, I know. That's a good story. I think story. it'd make uh, a really good Subaru commercial. It would. They yeah. wanted to use it. <laughs> right. Yeah, that sure would. Right. Interestingly, my last story is about a vehicle as well. Um, nothing goes wrong with this vehicle. Oh, good, this vehicle good. Is, a, uh, is a van, and it's a 70-year-old woman who travels across the country um, and has a bookstore oh, inside cool. the van. Cool. Yeah, it's super cool. It's this woman named Rita, and um, she decided, you know, that I kind of want a summer hobby right. for uh, a year or two. And then she started driving and was absolutely fascinated with the people that she met. Interesting. Um, and, you know, all the different connections connections that wouldn't normally happen if you're right. in one spot um, so she has decided to continue doing this from May until October every single year oh, nice. um, definitely a hobby of hers but what she does is she'll just travel around where people ask her to come to she doesn't have really a set place that or a set route that she takes people just say you know I I'd love to see this traveling bookstore right. so 
She will go wherever you ask her to. She's been across the country two or three times. She's traveled to different 30 different states, um, and she usually just kind of makes her rounds wherever she goes. Oh, wow. Which she did is um, when she started this, she decided to go to a mechanic first. Mm-hmm. And she said, I need something that I can stand up in. I need something with low miles and easy to park. And he was like, that's going to be hard to find. Two weeks later, he says, I've got the perfect one. Right. So that worked out in her honor. And then next she went to an architect and was like, okay, I thought this was super interesting because you have to have the bookshelves in a way that like when you're driving, the books don't fall out. Right. So you think that. yeah, yeah, you wouldn't normally. Um, so all of the shelves are at a 15 degree angle. So when she turns or does anything, the books don't fall out. And they say that she has not had a fallen book yet. So wow. it's super cool to see all that stuff come together. And, you know, a common love of books right. has brought her, you know, across the country and, you know, have helped other people out too. Right. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, those are our good stories for this month. We hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did telling you about them. And tune in next month to see what next good stories we have. Bye.